changing gears just a little bit in, in one part of the book, uh, you know, I think we are sort of living in a period both of extreme income and wealth inequality and the sort of ecological crisis. When, when you said 2050, I always think of like mission goals or something. So I was like, oh, great, expanded work on mission. One, one, you have an interesting chapter in the book that is about sort of uh, a, a new approach to approaching climate, mm -hmm. the climate crisis yeah. mm -hmm. that I think would just be fun to put out there on the table and sure. hear you talk about since we don't hear yeah. it. Um, we have a project at Democracy Collaborative called the Next System Project. And their job is basically to sit down and dream up big ideas. <laughs> and uh, one of the big ideas that they have dreamed up is it's called quantitative easing for the planet. And um, so the idea is, yeah, we want worker ownership, we want publicly owned banks, but we don't have time, right, for all that, that little stuff to grow and scale. We've got to do something fast, right? And, um, and so what if we just bought out the 25 largest fossil fuel companies and wound them down? Um, you'd have to buy 51%. And uh, we calculated in the year 2018, it would cost $700 billion. Well, that's not a small sum. <laughs> but spread it over seven years, that's $100 billion a year. It starts to seem a little more reasonable. Um, also, it's, it's uh, just a fraction of the $1.5 trillion that Trump gave away in tax breaks. Uh, it's, it's also a small fraction of what we're spending on the Iraq War, <clears throat> which is probably going to be multiple trillions. Um, so, uh, and then how would you, how would you finance that? Well, the idea, that, and this was uh, Gar's conception, is you use quantitative easing. And this is the same way that we bailed out the big banks in 2008 and 2009. And some of you might remember, um, it's indelibly etched in my brain, the image of Hank Paulson, Treasury Secretary, Secretary, on his knees in front of Nancy Pelosi, saying, I need 700 billion to bail out the big banks, right? And he got it like that and far more. When you add up all, all the quantitative easing the US government did it and went into the trillions and Europe did uh, uh, very, very much the same, trillions and trillions of dollars in bailing out the guys who caused the crisis in the first place. And so then the question becomes, what counts as a crisis, right? Is, you know, banks failing, that's a crisis. You're gonna get trillions of dollars in the blink of an eye. No one's gonna quibble about that. The planet at risk of a catastrophe that could go on forever, that doesn't count as a crisis. So that, that's an example of, of, of capital bias. That what happens to capital, well, now that really matters. That's really important. What happens to everybody else and, and all life on Earth? It's just off the radar screen. It's just off the radar screen. And that's, um, so, and so one of the things I like about the quantitative easing for the planet is just even as a thought experiment, it tells you what would it mean to have an economy that put life first. Well, it would mean that we would bail out the planet just as fast as we would bail out the big banks. That's what it would mean. Um, and I will say, this is it's a pretty crazy idea to commute to the planet. Um, we, we did submit this. Carla Scandier, one of my colleagues, has been leading this project. And she uh, submitted this to a climate, uh, it was, uh, I think it was called the Climate Accelerator Project. That sounds kind of intuitive. But anyway, <laughs> like, what? Maybe that's not the right name. Um, but anyway, it was, it was a bunch of foundations who got together and said, we need to end the age of oil. Send us your ideas. They got 600 ideas. There were three that were selected for funding, and this was one of the three. So at least a few people think it's, uh, you know, it has this kind of, um, wow, that's kind of crazy, but what if? It has that kind of what if quality. So we're working on it. We have, we've got a couple hundred thousand dollars to work on it.